Hello everybody, my name is Ashley and I'm a Partner Success Consultant for Receipt Bank's Sydney office. And today I'm going to be talking you through how to get started with Receipt Bank. So your accountant or bookkeeper has either sent you an invitation or will be inviting you to the platform following this session. And I'm here to help you get started and set up on your Receipt Bank file. So first of all, let's visit the learning objectives for our webinar today. So by the end of this training, you will be able to download the Receipt Bank app and access your account. I will show you how to upload your documents, your receipts and, and business uh, documents using the mobile app, the email in method and invoice fetch. We will also take a look at how to respond to messages from your accountant or bookkeeper using the mobile app. So first of all, a quick note on why you should use Receipt Bank. Um, first of all, it's probably the easiest and fastest way to submit your bills and receipts so that you can capture your expenses on the go. Um, and you can make sure you never lose a receipt again in this day and age, that's really helpful. Uh, it keeps your books up to date so that you can make real time financial decisions on your business's performance and it also helps to go paperless. And finally, you can store all of your business documents in the cloud so that you have full audit security in an easy to access manner. So let's kick this off. Firstly, you will have received an invite from your accountant or bookkeeper, and it will come in one of two forms, either an email or a text message. So here on the left, we can see the email, and on the right, we can see the SMS invite. So the email is to help you log into the web version on your computer, on your desktop, and the text is to help you log in and get set up on the mobile app using your mobile phone. And basically, the first thing you'll be asked to do once you click this button here, create your account, or the link in the SMS, the first thing you'll do is create your password for your account. So make sure it's something easy for you to remember, um, or just hit save once you've created that so that your Google Chrome remembers that, or your mobile app, you can save it in your phone. Okay, so let's take a look at this in action. We will get started by looking at the mobile app and receiving the SMS invite and how to create your account. If you have any questions along the way, please feel free to use the chat box. I'll be answering those towards the end of the session um, just so we can go through the duration of the session. Um, but yeah, please feel free to ask any questions to, and I'll answer those for you. Okay, so here we can see we have received an SMS invite from our accountant or bookkeeper. Now the first thing to do would be to select the link in the SMS and this will take us to Receipt Bank where we can create our own password. So make sure it's something easy to remember. And select Create Account. Now here we have two options displayed. So we have the ability to download the app on the App Store or sign into the mobile app. So we're going to go through to the App Store and here we can see that previously I have downloaded the app. So we're just going to click this here and download the app again. And now we're going to open the app. We need to allow Receipt Bank to send us notifications. And let's get logged in. Wonderful. So here we can see that we have one item in the inbox. Um, first of all, I'm going to run through the different methods that we can use to upload into Receipt Bank using the mobile app. So to upload any 
photographs of receipts, we just select the green icon to add items. And we need to allow access to the camera. So we have several different options. The first one is single mode, which is when we need to capture one receipt or bill. And if we need to leave a note for our accountant or bookkeeper, we have the ability to do this in this section, um, business expense. And if we know the category that we want to select, you know, maybe it's just a general expense, we have the ability to select that there as well. Now the next button to press is submit for processing. Now, the next camera mode is multiple. So this is when we need to snap one receipt, uh, one or more than one receipt, should I say. So we can just almost do it like a machine gun mode in a way. So we can snap another one. So let's do three receipts. And we just need to select review. So to review the items, we can click into them and we can toggle along to see them. Very simple. And once again, if you need to enter in a description or a category code, we can do that here. But finally, we just need to submit for review. Now, the final camera mode is combine mode. So this is a very good one because if you have a really long receipt, actually I have heaps of receipts here. So let's grab a really long Coles one and let's start. So we could do the top of the receipt, the middle and the bottom. And that will con combine our entry into one image. So we can see that there's three um, photos that we've taken and we can submit that into one entry. So that's going to upload into one single go. So that's submitting via the mobile app using the camera modes. What I want to show you now is how to respond to messages from your accountant or bookkeeper. So the first one is outstanding paperwork report. Now this is where you would view the items that your accountant or bookkeeper has requested. So from the inbox we can see here outstanding paperwork report. Now we can see here that we have received a request for this Bunnings receipt. So on the 29th of July we made a purchase at Bunnings for $16.66. Now if you have that paperwork, we have the ability to press submit paperwork and that will open the camera mode. Don't believe I have that Bunnings receipt. I, I have a Bunnings receipt, but it's not the one. So say for example, this is the Bunnings receipt. We could just snap that and upload it. But if we didn't have that paperwork, we can just dismiss the request and your bookkeeper or accountant will be notified. Now the second uh, message that you would potentially receive is an item messaging. So an item message we can see in, the, um, in this item here. So we can see our accountant or bookkeeper has messaged us asking if this is a personal expense. So we can either rep respond and say yes um, and send that across to them. So they will receive that message through to uh, their Receive Bank account. Now, to find your email in, if we head into the inbox, which is where we are now, and select settings, if we view email in, this is where we can find our email in. So this copies it to the clipboard. Um, you can copy that email address, and we can head into our inbox and paste that and send any documents. So say you had some, uh, documents received from a supplier, we have the ability to forward those on using Receipt Bank. Um, I can also show you in the web app how to access that email in method. Wonderful. So that's all from within the app. What I'm going to take you through now is invoice fetch and some other methods to upload using the web. Alrighty, so to log into the Receipt Bank web app on your computer, all you need to do is type in receiptbank.com.
and this will bring you to our web page where you can select login from the top right hand corner. So let's log into my account. It's going to open another page where we can log into the web app. So we're just going to log in using our email address and password. You're first greeted with the inbox of your account. So we can see here, this is an item that I uploaded previously so that you can see what it looks like with documents in the inbox. Now, to open this item, you can click anywhere along this line and it will open the item for you. So here on the left, we can see the source document and on the right hand side, we can see the extracted details. So Receipt Bank extracts the supplier name, the date, the document type, the currency, total amount, tax amount and a payment method if there is one visible on the document. So now what I would like to show you is if you receive a request from your supplier through to your email on how to set up or, or, or if they have asked you to connect to a supplier using Receipt Bank, the email will look somewhat like this. So my accountant or bookkeeper has asked me to connect to Red Energy with my Receipt Bank account. Now, Invoice Fetch is a fantastic tool to set up and Essentially, what this means is that the next time one of my red energy bills is generated, Receipt Bank will automatically collect it for me. So all I need to do is select here, connect supplier. This is going to take me right through to Invoice Fetch and I'll just hit connect here. So it's going to open a connection page. And on this page, we just need to type in the email address of my Red Energy account and my password. Very important point to point out, which would be to adjust this to last 30 days. Now, what this means is that Receipt Bank can actually pull through historical documents. And if you were to leave this as entire available history set, what's going to happen? Receipt Bank is going to pull through the entire available history of documents since you've been trading with the supplier. So all we need to do now is select connect and a little, little window will appear just saying that the process may take about one or two minutes, but you can continue using Receipt Bank in another tab by just clicking this link here. Beautiful. So this takes us back into our inbox and while we're here, I'd like to run you through how to add documents while you're on your computer. So within the inbox of your account, you have this bright green button at the top here, add documents. So we're going to select this and this brings up a panel where we can add our bills, receipts and invoices from our suppliers. So first of all, document owner will be myself because these are my invoices that I'm going to upload. And we have two options here. We can either select files from a folder. And this is going to download, uh, sorry, take us into either our downloads or in our desktop. So I have some invoice examples here. So you might want to upload, you know, one or two invoices or, you know, say you've got two single items, we could upload these. So these are single item PDFs. So we can select those and upload them. Or if we want to, we have the ability to do a drag and drop. So let me just open an invoice on my computer. So here we can see files from a folder, we can just do a drag and drop if we want to. So we just do a drag and drop like that. So below here is really important to point out. So we have two options. So one document per file means individual invoices. So this is one document per file, whereas we have one document per page. So 
This is one document per page. This is a, a single PDF, but it has three pages containing separate invoices. So say we want to upload this, Receipt Bank has the ability to split these out per page break. So what we'd do is we'd select one document per page and we can drag and drop that into this section. So that's then gonna upload those three invoices as separate submissions. The next uh, option or, or submission method, should I say, is connecting to a supplier. So similar to what we just ran through with connecting our Red Energy account, we can jump through and add a connection. So from the full list, we can view, you know, say we use Telstra as our telephone provider, or say we have an Officeworks account. This is where you can search that supplier. I would be the owner of the documents and would go through to that same connection page again. The next method is the receipt bank email address. So we can forward our documents to this email address digitally. So this is if we're receiving PDF um, statements or, or invoices from our suppliers, we have the ability to copy this email address and send forward them into receipt bank. So receipt bank will take those attachments from your email and process them into your inbox. And the mobile app, which we ran through previously, which is taking pictures of documents with your phone. Wonderful. So, let's revisit our list, our checklist, before we finish up today. So, we have learned how to download the Receipt Bank app on our mobile phones and how to access our account. We have also learned how to submit items using the Receipt Bank app, email in methods and invoicing fetch. And we've also learned how to respond to messages from our accountant or bookkeeper using outstanding paperwork report or item messaging. I hope this was a helpful session, helpful training. Uh, like I said earlier in the, in the session, um, if you have any questions, please use the chat box and drop me a message um, or give me a thumbs up if you found this was a helpful training. Other than that, I thank you for joining me today. I hope this was a helpful session and if you do need to check out any resources, you have the help center by selecting resources and go through to the help desk where you can find articles on certain things. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day.